a show of force in Corsica's capital, Ajaccio. The target of their anger, government buildings, a courthouse, a bank and the police here responding with tear gas. Violence started after jailed Corsican nationalist Yvonne Colonna was beaten into a coma by a fellow inmate. You have to be violent to be hurt. It's not normal. When you're afraid of the confrontations, then the state gives in. It's unfortunate that it has come to this. You have to wait until a man is in a coma to react. Once France's most wanted man, Ivan Colonna, is serving a life sentence in southern France for killing an official in 1998. His demand for transfer to Corsica had been ignored until Tuesday. Under immense pressure from protesters, Prime Minister Jean Castex allowed the order after the attack. Many here blame the French government for the assault and say the transfer order came too late. What happened is very serious. The assassination attempt on Yvon Colonna is very, very serious. And so I think that many people on the continent are not aware of what really happened and of the expectations of the Corsican people. Days of protests have spread across the cities of Ajaccio, Calvi and Bastia. The anger is not new to the island, where protests and calls for nationalism have been a mainstay for decades. But in recent years, more people have opted for autonomy over independence. In one week, the young people have obtained what no one, no elected official has obtained for seven years. The Corsican people are in the street. That's how it is, and the actions must continue. Many here say the only way of making change is on the streets. Laura Bowden Manley, Al Jazeera.